What if one day you woke up to find that your phone, your computer, your entire city's power grid had been wiped out, not by a storm or a terrorist attack, but by a solar flare from the sun? Imagine this. Our sun, the very star that gives us light and warmth, also has the potential to plunge our world into darkness. Solar flares, enormous explosions on the sun's surface, hold an immense power. They hurl massive amounts of energy into space, some of which can reach our planet. These solar outbursts are not just a spectacle of nature, but they pose a genuine threat to our modern technology-dependent society. We rely on electricity for almost everything, from the essentials like water and heat, to the conveniences like internet and entertainment. What happens when the lifeblood of our civilization, electricity, is suddenly taken away by an event millions of miles away in space? The question isn't just hypothetical. Understanding solar flares, these gigantic explosions in the sun's atmosphere can help us prepare for or even prevent such a disaster. Solar flares, sometimes referred to as solar storms, are sudden flashes of increased brightness on the sun, usually observed near its surface and in close proximity to sunspots. Let's dive a bit deeper into these fascinating phenomena. Picture the sun, a boiling mass of plasma, its surface roiling with energy and activity. Now imagine a magnetic field, like the one that surrounds our own planet but much, much stronger. This magnetic field gets tangled up like a ball of yarn. And when the tension gets too great, snap! The magnetic field breaks releasing a torrent of energy. This is a solar flare. The energy unleashed in a single solar flare is immense, equivalent to millions of 100 megaton hydrogen bombs exploding at the same time. The majority of this energy is radiated as light across the entire electromagnetic spectrum, from radio waves at the long end, to gamma rays at the short end. These flares occur in areas of intense magnetic activity, places where the sun's magnetic field is the strongest, typically near sunspots. Sunspots are cooler, darker regions on the sun's surface, where energy is suppressed by the sun's intense magnetic field. It's like a lid on a boiling pot of water. Eventually, the energy beneath bursts forth, and we see a solar flare. How often do these solar flares occur? Well, that depends on where the sun is in its 11-year cycle. During solar maximum, the period of greatest solar activity, there could be several solar flares each day. During solar minimum, periods of lower solar activity, flares are less frequent. But here's the thing to remember. Not all solar flares affect Earth. Only those that occur on the side of the sun facing Earth. And only if the conditions are just right. Solar flares are a natural part of the sun's cycle. But their impacts on Earth can be significant. They're a testament to the incredible power of our closest star, a reminder that we're at the mercy of the cosmos, even from 93 million miles away. But how does a solar flare, a phenomenon occurring 93 million miles away, manage to affect our power grids here on Earth? You might be asking yourself this question. The answer lies in the complex interplay of solar physics and our own planet's magnetic field. First let's delve into what a solar flare actually is. It's a sudden violent eruption of energy on the surface of the sun, equivalent to millions of hydrogen bombs exploding at once. This eruption sends a stream of charged particles or plasma hurtling into space at incredible speeds. If the Earth happens to be in the path of this plasma, things can get interesting. The Earth as you may know is surrounded by a magnetic field. This field protects us from most of the sun's harmful radiation. However, the force of a solar flare can cause disturbances in this field leading to what are known as geomagnetic storms. These storms are not a cause for concern in themselves, they're responsible for the beautiful auroras we see near the poles. But they can also induce electric currents in conductive materials. And guess what? Our power lines are very conductive. When a geomagnetic storm hits, it can induce currents in our vast network of power lines. These aren't the usual currents that power our homes and businesses, but rogue currents. They can overload the system, damaging transformers and potentially causing widespread power outages. The larger the storm, the larger the induced currents, and the greater the potential for damage. In extreme cases, a solar flare could induce currents powerful enough to knock out entire power grids. This wouldn't just be a local blackout but a regional, continental or even global one. The sun, in all its fiery glory is not just a source of life. It can also in rare instances be a source of disruption. Our reliance on electrical power makes us vulnerable to the whims of our home star. A strong enough solar flare could potentially knock out power grids on a continental or even global scale. While this is a sobering thought, it's also a call to action. As we continue to understand and prepare for these solar events, we can hope to mitigate their effects and keep our lights on.
Imagine a world without power. No lights, no internet, no cell phones, no modern conveniences of any kind. This is not a scene from a dystopian novel, but a possible reality if a powerful solar flare were to hit our power grids. Let's delve deeper into the potential impacts of a large-scale power outage. First, communication would be severely disrupted. Without power, the internet would collapse, cell phones would become useless bricks, and even landlines might fail. In this age of constant connectivity, we'd be plunged into a strange silence, isolated from each other in ways we haven't experienced in over a century. Transportation would be the next casualty. Without power, traffic lights would fail, causing chaos on the roads, trains would stop, planes would be grounded, and even our cars, increasingly reliant on electronics, might refuse to start. The world would seem a lot bigger and a lot slower without the ability to move freely and quickly. Essential services we take for granted would also be affected. Hospitals rely on power for life-saving equipment. Without electricity how would they function? And what about our food supply? Refrigeration would fail, spoiling perishable goods, and supermarkets would struggle to restock their shelves without functioning supply chains. In short, a solar flare's impact on our power grids could be a disaster unlike any we've ever seen. It's a sobering thought and a stark reminder of our reliance on this fragile web of power. So, are we helpless against this solar threat? Not necessarily. There are steps we can take to guard against the impact of solar flares. One approach is to harden our power grid infrastructure, making it resilient to solar storms. Additionally, we can enhance our space weather forecasting abilities, allowing us to prepare for incoming flares. While solar flares are a threat we can't ignore, with understanding, preparation and innovation, we can protect our power grids and our way of life.